I would like for everyone in the audience to look up. There is a red balloon floating up towards the atmosphere. Now our red balloon is garbage floating in the ocean, just waiting for an unsuspecting sea turtle to eat it and clog its digestive tract. That turtle is going to starve to death. How is it that a red balloon can wreak such havoc? You see, the balloon is composed from strong carbon-carbon chemical bonds that do not break down in the environment. On top of that, it's a type of plastic that cannot be recycled and gets discarded after one use. It turns out that on top of the 8 million tons of plastic that lands in the ocean every year, there are 100 million marine life casualties like the one that I just described. What can we do to reform this killer? I'm a chemist, and I say that we should repurpose used plastic so that it can be used in products that help rather than hinder. We could change our, our balloon from being rubbery to rigid and back again so that it can be applied to a number of different products. To do so, consider the structure of plastic as being made from long pieces of string. In the same way that string can be knit into a more rigid structure, Plastic chains can be connected in a process called cross-linking. For example, we could cross-link our rubbery balloon to make it more rigid like the plastic in the chairs that you are all sitting on. Cross-linking is a well-established technique, but the problem with the way that we do it industrially is that it is irreversible. This not only means more strong bonds that cannot be broken down in the environment, we also lose the ability to make the material rubbery again, which limits our ability to repurpose. I have recently discovered a new way to cross-link plastic. It involves the incorporation of a phosphorus component to the material to make it more rigid. The exciting thing about this phosphorus component is that it can be degraded. And so, the idea is to make a plastic chair from a balloon, and then once we no longer require the chair, degrade it back into a balloon, which can now be used as a feedstock material to make the different types of plastic that we use every day. Consider the implications. This science is an opportunity for us to mine plastic from the oceans. In doing so, we'll be creating safe habitats for turtles and other marine life. We'll also be making the planet cleaner and safer for ourselves. And just like magic, we'll be turning our garbage into goods. Thank you.